So why should you enter the training awards? Firstly, there's a really good cash prize. Um, a lot of our finalists um, that have actually won at an NT level have actually used that to use it for their training and ongoing, like using it in their workplace and stuff like that for marketing purposes. I know that's been done as well. Um, there's an opportunity to go on to the Australian Training Awards, which is in Brisbane this year, um, in November, which is another huge save the date if you go on to the awards. Um, obviously, networking, being in this room right now, you're actually um, lots of networks to be made. Um, be awarded with your certificate and trophy and know that you're the best in the Northern Territory. Um, like you'll hear from Peter from NEC, there's also the individual categories and the, um, the organisation categories as well. With any awards and anything you see these days with that little star, there's these conditions to entry um, that you'll have to make sure that you can abide by before you continue with your nomination. So first of all, nominations will close at the end of May. Um, we're shutting these off on the Sunday, the 26th. So anything after that, we're not actually, we've, we actually have to meet timeframes with um, your pathway to the nationals. Um, so you need to meet that date. These are all on the website, so if you don't, um, and we can provide you with a PowerPoint slide after this um, workshop as well. But if you have a look, um, besides the International Vocational Student of the Year category, um, you will have to be an Australian citizen um, to keep going on with these awards. Uh, the other ones um, that are really important, and you'll hear from Brad Malby at the back, um, and the winners of the NT Training Awards go on to be um, potential judges. So the judges make the final decisions as well. And um, although we're from the Department of Trade, Business, Innovation, we actually have a contractor who does the judging for us. So we're quite separate from the judging. Anyone that has questions, we're going to have a big question and answer session afterwards as well. So um, the judges and the finalists as well. The other important thing um, with the training awards is that you'll have a lot of photos taken. So um, you'll notice during the ambassadors weekend, we'll get profile photos. We'll get photos of your business. Um, these are taken to the nationals and um, used all the time by our like our for our department and the marketing purposes and stuff like that. Um, so once you go onto the portal, you'll have a little checkbox that you'll make sure that you'll agree to those photos and stuff like that. So uh, we'll make sure you look good as well. So we have individual categories. So there's eight of those. These shortlisted um, individual categories will have to go on to the Ambassadors Weekend. So that's scheduled in August. Uh, we have those key dates listed shortly as well in a huge snapshot. That will happen in August on the Saturday and Sunday. And followed by on the Monday, we'll have all the judging for the individuals and the organisations on the same day. So your pathway is basically, you'll put your nomination in now, and then if you get shortlisted, you'll be requested, you'll be requested as a finalist to attend this Ambassadors Weekend in August. Um, uh, as well as that, as an individual um, finalist, if you win at the NT Training Awards, you'll be required to go on to the Nationals, and this year that will be in Brisbane. The Nationals um, at the Australian Training Awards is not just a one day hoo-ha, one day like gala awards event. It's actually like a finalist week. Um, you'll meet the vet alumni um, or the other jurisdictions or the other winners and finalists at, the, um, at their level as well. So that's the individual ones. Uh, we have the organisation um, finalists. 
So that's your small employers, medium employers, large employers, industry collaborations. We actually have um, Martin Astridge at the front, who's featured in the, his uniform at the front. Um, these representatives, they, um, they're invited to the ambassadors weekend, but it's not compulsory that they go. It's more for the individual finalists. You'll hear about the ambassadors weekend from Jack and Riley as well. So each of these um, organisations, the different pathway from the individual one is you will put your nomination in, um, you will get judged at the NT Training Awards. Uh, if you win um, your category, you actually get shortlisted. So when I say shortlisted, it goes into a pool with all the other jurisdictions and then the Australia Training Awards do some shortlisting again. And then if you're successful, you go on to the nationals like NEC did. <coughs> so you might hear a bit more about that from Peter later on. So it's a little bit of a different pathway for the organisation one, but the same judging process. So um, you'll still do the, the same on the portal. Um, we'll still get all the other um, criteria from you as well.